Hi, welcome to Unit 2. So this unit is called Introduction to Frontend, but honestly, it's more like an introduction to everything. We're going to talk about three main objectives that we're going to use throughout the rest of the course. So it's a pretty important lesson. We're not actually going to write a lot of code. You'll be seeing code, but you're not going to write much on your, of your own until the next unit. But what we'll start with is just setting up our own developer environment so that we can write code in the next unit. So we need to install Google Chrome if you don't have that yet, and then also Sublime Text so that we have somewhere to write code. And then the next thing, which is a really important objective, is to discuss the difference between front end and back end. So when someone says they're a front end developer or back end developer, or when I say that this is a full stack developer course, what does that mean? And it's also important so that we know what we're getting into in the rest of this course. The first half is all front end, the second half is all back end, and really the last third is full stack, front end plus back end. So that's important to understand what we're doing so that we have a little framework to reference as we progress. And then we're going to dive a little bit more into front end specific technologies. So HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We'll talk about what they are, how they fit together, what roles they play, how they're similar, how they're different, and really just dissect what they do. So that when we start HTML in the next unit, you'll have a little bit better of an idea of how it fits in with all the other pieces. And there's so much that we cover in this class that if I just went straight through and I just covered it all one after another without tying it together, without talking about how it all fits together, it wouldn't really be a great course. You'd be able to follow me, be able to do what I can do, but you wouldn't be able to actually write your own code, be a developer, understand how all these pieces fit together. 